checking, checking, checking. Is this good? Are we good? Hey guys, it's Alyssa and welcome to season four of Alyssa Explains It All. So you may have some questions like, where are you, Alyssa? How is your senior year going? And why does your hair look like that? I am in my room in the village, and if you ever want a tour of the house and of my room, please leave a comment below. Maybe I'll make a short little video about living in the village. Number two, my senior year is going great. Um, I'm a little stressed. A lot of things have happened um, with WTOP, me as a social media director, with um, deciding to make videos, uh, getting a lot of homework to do, a lot. Number three, well, my hair. Okay, it's humid out, it's gross, it's been raining a few days, it's been on and off, hot and cold. But my hair kind of poofs if I wear it down normally. I usually just wear it up nowadays. Um, and I look like this because I moosed it, because my natural hair without mousse is like... Psh, psh. Does that describe it very well to you? I hope so. So, yes. This is Alyssa Explains It All. And because this is a new video to the new year, I of course have to reintroduce myself to the people out there who are joining us for the first time, especially the incoming students for the class of 2020. But let's just start. I know you probably had a very uncomfortable introduction with me so far with this video and you probably clicked away by now, but if not, welcome. Hello there, my name is Alyssa Levenberg and I am a senior communication and social interaction major with a creative writing minor here at SUNY Oswego. So like I've said a couple times already in this video, I'm a senior and with these videos this year, I'm probably going to have them more frequent and they're probably going to be a lot more serious, experience-driven content. So this video today is going to be about how College is sometimes an emotional roller coaster. When I say a roller coaster, you know what I mean. You pretty much know that it you go all the way up and then you get to the top and then somehow you go down and there's loops and there's turns and everything goes crazy and then somehow you stop and then the ride's over and then you choose to either get back on or you get off and then you throw up and then life moves on from there. But the thing is, is that college is also like that. You go through the ups and the downs and the sideway turns and then at some point you may want to stop and continue or you may want to just stop, take a breather and then decide if you want to get back on or go try a different roller coaster. This is a really good analogy, isn't it? But as an emotional roller coaster, you're gonna have those days when you're gonna be really, really happy and excited for something. You're gonna have those days when you're gonna be really, really depressed or sad or stressed out. And you're also gonna have those days when you're gonna get really mad and really angry or nervous and you don't know what to do and your head's gonna explode and you just wanna sit in your room with the door closed and hide in your comforter. Let me just go through briefly of what these emotions will do and how it's okay to have them. You're gonna have times when you're really, really happy about something. Of course, college is a great place for you to experience things that you've never experienced before. So there are going to be times where you're like, oh, I got an A, or yes, like I'm so excited for this weekend. I have so many plans. Something fun is going to happen and you're just like, yeah, I'm so excited. But then you have those friends or friends from home or family members that might put you down into a deeper, deeper level. You might have this like thing in your brain that tells you like, maybe you should assimilate to them. Maybe you shouldn't have as much fun because they're your new friends and you want them to like you, so you should kind of get down on their level. Never stop your happiness for someone else unless obviously it's really, really bad and you need to help them. Then you can like take a side break from your happiness and help them, but always be happy. Always be excited for the next day. You're also gonna have those days when you're just really upset and you're stressed and you're sad and you don't know what to do. That's okay too. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to experience these different emotions of depression and not major depression, but like one of those days where you're like, oh, I'm just so stressed out about the, all these classes that I have to do. It's okay to have these days, but if it continues to happen for a long time, like you constantly have these bombarding feelings of sadness and depression, you should go get counseling, definitely. Uh, the Lifestyle Center here on campus has a lot of different programs and services to offer. You can go see an actual counselor to talk to them, or you can do peer-to-peer -peer advisoring, which is when you talk to someone, another student who may have the same issues as you. When this happens, you might have all these thoughts like, I want to drop out of school or I want to transfer somewhere else. Like I said, you might want to get off that ride and go to another ride or you may want to just stop forever and throw up and not return back to the amusement park. It shouldn't come down to that unless you really think about it and you don't have any other option. You're also going to have days when you're just really angry at everything. You're, the stress level is getting so high that just everything is 
pushing you and hitting you. Sometimes your roommate will piss you off. They'll invite someone over that they shouldn't and they're always over and you don't know how to explain to them. And you're gonna get mad and you might wanna punch a wall. Don't punch a wall, you'll have to pay for it, so don't do that. Let off some steam. Take some time by yourself now. Don't just assume that you should be always out there doing a social activity or something that's really stressful just because you have it to do tomorrow or do in a few days and you have no time. Take a breather, relax. So, college is an emotional roller coaster. You're gonna get happy times, you're gonna get the sad times, and you're gonna get the really angry, like weird times where you're like, well, I don't know what's going on with me today. We're all human and we all have to understand that because we're put into this environment for 12 years of our lives when you're from kindergarten to senior year of high school and you're with the same people that you've always been with and now you're put into a situation where you don't know everybody and they don't know you and you don't know how to handle it so let people know your feelings show it don't hide it all inside make some friends have some fun you're awesome I'm awesome, and thank you for watching this video. And if you would like to, you can press subscribe, which lets you know when I post more Alyssa Explains It All. If you have any questions, comments, or video ideas, please tweet me at listless 15 and I will try to contact you. Also, you can like my Facebook page, Alyssa Explains It All Facebook page, description in the bar below. All right, I'll see you guys around, okay? I think I'm gonna stay in this little corner. I don't know, maybe I'll switch it up. Not quite sure. We'll go with whatever life throws at me. We'll see how this editing goes.